Sam Messman likes to talk about inception moments. And that's what's happening here. We have a three ring circus inside of a three ring circus. So we have Eric Altman, Sam, and Richard Hastings will be up, and he's going to be showing you something very cool from Melanix. So, gentlemen, take it away. Hey, guys. How's it going? How many of you guys are passionate about enterprise shared storage? <laughs> it's probably the sexiest topic we are going to talk about over the next three days. Um, I cannot wait to talk to you about the in-depth uh, concepts of white papers and packets that are going to be coming your way here. But um, while it is exceedingly interesting, um, it is actually probably the thing that can make the biggest difference in terms of your day-to-day -day productivity in a large uh, facility. And part of the problem is that we have a lot of existing infrastructures on really slow, crumbling foundations, and they're being asked to throw HD 4K, 8K, VR at these networks, and they are completely falling apart. And so uh, the reason that we have built the share station is to adapt to the modern video workflow. And uh, we have partnered with the company Mellanox to basically create what we feel is the ideal enterprise solution for video teams. And it is called the Share Station. And I'm here with my CTO, Eric Altman, who is basically going to give you an overview of why this matters for large facilities and um, how it addresses some core problems that a lot of facilities are facing currently. And then we're going to turn it over to Richard from Mellanox, who is going to dive um, into the fundamental connectivity backbone that sort of is, this is all built on, that is going to allow um, large facilities to adapt to what is now being thrown at them that they have never seen before. And uh, basically, we kind of feel like this is a game-changing product for the enterprise space, and we're really excited about it. So basically, I'm going to throw a bunch of softballs at Eric here, and he's going to walk you through the fundamental architecture of the share station. So Eric, why don't you give us a big picture sort of overview of what the share station is and why it matters? So the share station is a modular approach to shared storage. Uh, basically, we have three pools that you see here. We have, starting at the bottom, our high redundancy large archive pools that give you robust ability capable of surviving pretty much anything a facility could throw at it and maintaining near line untainted archived media. Uh, it can be attached locally to the main head unit or it could even be connected through a archive head unit that could be in a different room or even a different building. We have our primary pool. This is our spinning disk storage. That is the typical pool that most of your facilities are going to be working off of. That is something that you can increase your bandwidth and lower your latency just by throwing more devices in the pool. So between those two is going to be the main majority of what your people are going to work with. And between those two, you can have pretty much everything that you need. Then we have our flash pool, and that is our incredibly low latency, high performing storage next to zero latency that allows people to do, you know, your VFX artists, your colorists, your finishers working in 4K or higher, open EXRs, DPXs, right over the pipe. So you're not worried about anything aside from at that point, you know, on your storage side, we want to make it as simple as possible. So you're not worried about what your storage is doing. All you really have to worry about at that point is, what kind of client machines are you throwing at this? Who you're, how good is your artist? <laughs> and so to, to talk about that a little bit, what this kind of means is if you look at the, the diagram there, essentially you can have the right kind of connection for every person on the team. So you're going to give typically your producers or a sound designer, for instance, who only needs a gigabit connection, they're gonna probably work off gigabit, but then, if you're working with 4K editors, they're probably going to need a 10 gig connection and they're going to connect over the Mac and this is Mac, Windows, or Linux. Now, you're also gonna have your high performance people who are doing DPX and EXR, 
on typically Windows and Linux boxes, and we can feed them directly a 25 or 40 gig connection. And no matter what your facility is on, they basically can get the right connection for their storage for whatever application that they're using and work collaboratively in an OS agnostic sphere. And this is all built on a larger 100 gig backbone where basically if you are a large facility, it is extremely scalable. And when you build that upon a flash pool, a primary pool and an archive pool, you can basically run a full high-end post facility and deliver something that is designed and optimized for what video editors do. So um, basically, I guess, Eric, what I would love to sort of see before we turn it over to Rich is maybe to walk through kind of how this might integrate into a facility. So yes, basically we can deliver 10, 25, 40, 50, even 100 gigabit ethernet to your switches and directly to client machines. So we have both options available for you. So your VFX team working again on your 16-bit open EXRs and 30 frames per second at 4K can get that 50 or 100 gigabit pipe uh, single or even aggregated links to double your bandwidth and your redundancy, uh, by the way, with our architecture, we're also looking at high availability, redundant head units, all connected to your same pools of storage, so you don't have to worry about any kind of you know, catastrophe befalling anything. So if you have a service level agreement, for instance, uh, this basically guarantees that no matter what happens to your primary storage, if in the event of anything happening, you are covered where you can immediately either flip over to your archive pool that is designed to run at a speed that your editors expect, or you can even move over to a completely redundant head unit um, with identical connections and essentially flip over at a moment's notice, um, which means that your deadlines are never sacrificed. When you're in a large facility, no one wants to hear, we're disconnected and we can't connect to the server. That is generally unacceptable, and this basically allows you to have the ultimate insurance policy for that. And we support clients on Mac, Linux, Windows, and all that other stuff. Uh, we use very finely tuned software and hardware that basically gets wherever you need to go. And we integrate easily with and effectively with LDAP slash Open Directory, Active Directory. We support FTPs, R syncing for either getting stuff off site or just your backups, uh, snapshotting, kind of like a built in time machine into your system, uh, direct or client attached uh, tape, uh, and compatibility you know, built in with various MAMs like CatDV, Axel, or, you know, the various tools out there. Additionally, we support Final Cut 10 libraries on the network, resolve collaborative workflow built in directly into the server. So basically there's no need for an additional ethernet cable or anything along those lines to do resolve collaborative work. Uh, we are fully supportive of the full Adobe Creative Suite, and you can even do Avid bin locking with a third party tool called Mimic that's installed on the client side. So no matter what your workflow is, you can do it from the share station. And to talk about why this backbone is ideal for that environment. Uh, we have Richard from Mellanox who is going to walk you through basically something you may not know about, which is how ethernet based networking is kind of the future of how editors should be working with video. And um, I'm not going to spoil his lead. I'll just let him take it from here. Thanks, guys. Um, pleased to meet you. Um, I'm Richard Hasty. I'm the Worldwide Senior Director for Media and Entertainment for Mellanox, and it's, it's brilliant to come and present for LumaForge today. You thought enterprise shared storage was the best topic for today, okay? I've got something even better. I'm talking about something like that, a wire, okay? This is the real good stuff. This is the serious stuff. But just like enterprise shared storage, there is actually an important point in this. You know, at the end of the day, you can't run an enterprise shared storage proposition without being able to get the bit to the workstation in a timely fashion so that your directors or whatever can do real-time attend, edit those EXRs and DPX files real-time and in an efficient way. It's all about making the artist efficient. Now, I'm based in the UK. I'm a Brit abroad, okay, and I thought, Rather than me come and give you the family chart of all of the different pieces that Mellanox does in this space, um, I'll just tell you a little bit about what we do. We've done a huge amount of post in post 
in Soho in London. You know, fibre channel is literally dying in Soho. It's, it's going out, it's, it's, the, you know, it's going out with the arc in reality. We are directly replacing fibre channel and all of these other legacy interconnects with a single proposition. So this is what I'm talking about. Most post houses in some shape or form have got at least two, maybe even three of these networks. You've got an historical quantum fiber channel store next network that sits there and you're dragging those fiber channels to every single workstation and you've got the metadata server and all that good stuff. Yeah, you've probably also got some one gigabit ethernet in the plant as well in the MCR. And that's for, you know, your internet connectivity and moving data around and the usual day-to-day -day stuff. And then some of the larger ones have, they've even got SDI routers in the building because they still need to connect a camera up and need to be able to put it on a, on a monitor and et cetera, et cetera. Now, where Mellanox intersects this is we're all about making things simple, really, really easy to use and simplifying everything, saving you time. So rather than use three networks in your plant, let's just have one. Let's call it Ethernet. So the point is, I've got this historical three, net, three network proposition. I need to transition from fiber channel. I've got LC fiber connections at my workstation. That is brilliant news because you can move, immediately move, from your traditional or your legacy four gigabit, maybe even eight gigabit fiber channel to the next generation ethernet. You can make that leap to 10 gig or 25 gigabit, literally by using the same cable. You just change the connections at the other end. Don't waste that infrastructure. Don't recable your building, yeah? Just reuse what you've got in a much more sim simpler way. You can now deal with EXRs and DPXs for UHD um, and 4K uh, workloads really, really easily. You've got 25 gigabit literally at every single um, workstation. Yeah. Likewise, if you've got any SDI in the plant, you no longer need an SDI router either. You can literally just plug your camera straight into the Ethernet network. This is an Ethan SDI to Ethernet optic. Okay. As soon as I do that, as soon as I plug my SDI in, I now have my SDI signal available everywhere in the plant that the Ethernet touches. I only have to plug another module in and I can completely just plug it straight into a monitor. It's transparent, it's simple, and I can route that video signal wherever it needs to go using the Ethernet connectivity. It makes life easy. And the cost of this is significantly lower. If you think about a workstation, you've probably got fiber channel coming into that with your quantum store next file system. You've got your Ethernet coming into that. Yeah. You're buying all these adapter cards. Yeah. Just use one. Reduce the cost of ownership. Reduce your capital expenditure when you buy these things. And because you're now managing th one rather than three networks, reduce your capex. It's really, really simple. So in summary, this is my view. LumaForge or Sure Station is a perfect, what I would describe, Swiss army knife for enterprise shared storage. It can cater for literally every use case, whether it's one gigabit, yeah, editorial, all the way up to that 40, 50 gigabit, or even 100 gigabit high-end 4K DPX EXR type use cases. It's a perfect Swiss Army knife for enterprise search, shared storage. Mellanox, Mellanox networking, Mellanox Ethernet that LumaForge uses in their platform is another Swiss Army knife. It's the Swiss Army knife of getting your data bits from that shared storage anywhere you need to in your uh, plant. Whether that's a suite, whether that's editorial, it doesn't really matter. You can actually just reuse your existing infrastructure, 
reuse your existing cabling and get that performance benefit at a much reduced cost. So that's my, my view. Thank you very much. So Just to slowly like kind of tie all of that together, um, basically we what we do at LumaForge is adapt what feels like very complex technology and we apply it with a post-production perspective. So essentially what we do is we look at what the needs are of what everyone is trying to do and assemble on the workflow side the exact right solution for your needs. So Richard mentioned that there's one, 10, 25, 40, 50, 100 gig ethernet. This can get really complicated as you try and um, analyze this from, well, which one should I give all of my clients and how do we do this? So what is the share station? The share station allows you to work with us to get the perfect custom tailored solution for your facility into whatever it is that you're trying to do around whatever applications you're using we leverage Mellanox technology to allow you to create whatever it is you've been tasked with creating at your facility. And basically, we feel like this is kind of the enterprise solution that video departments the world over have been waiting for um, and is going to prepare you for the next five to 10 years with a modular, scalable, expandable architecture um, that basically is designed around whatever your producers absurdly tell you you have to deliver. Yeah.